Welcome students. Let's learn about Maharashtra in the lesson Getting to know the place we live in. Find the names of towns in the word puzzle given below. Pune, Nasik, Latur, Thane, Satara, Kolapur. Try to find more if you can and have fun. Let's see how does a town form. In very old times before man began farming, he lived a nomadic life. He was dependent on hunting animals and gathering fruit, roots and bulbs for food. Later, man learned to grow crops. He began to settle where he found suitable land and water. People began to build houses in such places and settled there. They began to help each other in farming. Their houses were close by. Thus, settlements were formed. The settlements began to grow bigger. Many settlements merged together to form villages. People felt safer living in such settlements. As farming developed, people had to do different kinds of work. One person could not do all of them. So work was divided between the people. For example, making wooden implements, repairing them, weaving cloth, making jewelry and making clay pots. Thus there were artisans engaged in different occupations. A village, town or city has buildings such as temples, caves, mosques, churches, memorials, forts, museums, etc. A place becomes known by these buildings. They tell us about the richness of the place. They help us to understand our history. These buildings are our treasures. They must be protected. To protect them is our responsibility. A place may also become famous because of a religious place, fair or fort. For example, Raigad district is known for the Raigad fort. Do you know, while returning from Surat, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj stopped near Talegao in Nasik district. He had set up his army camp or tal there, giving the place the name Talegao. Damangao Park in Ahmednagar district was so named because formerly there was an abundance of daman trees there. There is a village called Ashti Dotar Jodiachi in Parthur Taluka of Jalna district. Fine Dotar Jodis of excellent quality were made there. This gave the village its name. Have you heard about Shivram Hari Rajguru? He was an important revolutionary in India's struggle for freedom. He was one of the three famous revolutionaries, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev. Rajguru was born in Khed in Pune district. After elementary education, he moved to Amravati. There, at the Hanuman Vyayam Shala, he took up the cause of patriotism. At 15 years of age, he went to Banaras to study Sanskrit. He knew several languages such as Marathi, Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu and English. Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev were his close friends. Later, he took part in the revolutionary activities and became a martyr for the country. In his memory, Ked, his birthplace, has been renamed Raj Guru Nagar. Let's try this. 18th April is World Heritage Day. On this day, pay a visit to a fort or national monument. Learn about its importance. Collect information about the rules for protecting World Heritage Sites. Obtain pictures of historical buildings, monuments and old vadas in your surroundings. Stick them in frame. Just as a place becomes renowned because of forts or historical buildings, it also gains renown because of its people and their good deeds. Do you know, Sant Gargay Maharaj's real name was Debuji Zinguraji Janorkar. He belonged to Shengao in the Riyapur Taluka of Amravati district. Sun Gadge Baba raised social awareness through Kirtans. During his Kirtans, he would ask people questions and answer them himself. Why are our people poor? Because they do not have education. He appealed to the people to get educated. He is known as one of the great saints of the 20th century. His village will forever be remembered for his work in the service of people. People in villages are dependent on weekly markets for their daily needs. These markets sell all essential items, mainly food grains, 
vegetables, farming implements, clothes, etc. become available here. The market is also the place where people can meet one another and inquire about each other's well-being. People belonging to various castes and communities attend the fairs of folk deities of masses in Maharashtra with reverence. Many things related to people's living such as different types of markets are also a part of these fairs. Jejuri in Pune district and Madhi in Ahmednagar district are places of pilgrimage. They are also well known for their donkey markets. At Malegao, another place of pilgrimage in Nanded district, a market held for donkeys and horses. Places become famous due to reasons such as this. Let's try this. Find the names of persons, places, relations, animals and vegetables hidden in the puzzle. Name of a person, place, relation, animal and vegetable. Try to find out more if you can and have fun. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.